Dependencies in Monday.com makes task management simpler, but setting them up can be confusing. Today though, we'll walk you through how to set them up and get the most out of them. Let's go. Task management is about setting up a process for your work. It's taking your work and setting up a flow where you complete each part in the most efficient and logical order. Good task management will mean you're always working efficiently. In order to set it up, you might want to implement dependencies. Dependencies set tasks to be only progressible if a prerequisite task has been completed first. Say you've completed a quote for a job and you've sent it to a customer who's accepted it. A dependency of starting the work is the client paying for it first. The work is dependent on the payment, and once the invoice is paid, the next task, starting the work, can begin. This could be represented in Monday.com using the dependency column. If you manage your tasks as items that float through groups representing stages of a process, the dependency column can set the tasks to be dependent on items elsewhere in the board using a date or timeline column. Take this board as an example. It shows a set of tasks associated with manufacturing and shipping a product batch. Each task represents part of the production process, but needs to be done in a certain order. After all, if you're bottling a fizzy drink, you wouldn't start adding the bottle tops before you filled it. With the dependency column, you can set up some dependencies to manage dates. In this instance, you need to ensure certain prerequisites are complete before you start the manufacturing process. You would finalize the recipe of the batch you are making before ordering the ingredients stock. Approval is needed before getting the ingredients and the manufacturing process itself can't start without them or without completing a health and safety check of the equipment. You can set dependencies in the column for the tasks before it and the dates that they are planned for completion. What the dependency does with the date depends on the mode you have set. With flexible, the parent item can be moved at any time before the dependency child date is set and it won't affect the child item. If the parent item is moved past the date of the child item, the date for that child will move to ensure that it is after it so that it can't be set to a date or time before its parent dependency. However, if you move the parent item's date for approval forward again, it will leave the child's date where it was after it was adjusted. For strict mode, Monday.com assumes that the exact time frame must be maintained. This means that if you must keep a five day process between recipe approval and buying ingredients, moving the parent will maintain that five day gap. This is great if you have a rigid structure of task timelines as it will move all the dates anytime the parent does, including any subsequent child item. Finally, no action mode will not adjust dates at all. If you move the parent item date past the child date or vice versa, the dates won't move. This one is useful if you don't want the dates in the board to move automatically, but still want to highlight what parent item should be done before you start the child. Once you've picked the column that represents the date for the dependency, you can start to label them in your process. Click on the child item's dependency column and choose the parent that you want this child item to be dependent on. Now you'll have the choice to lag the dependency. This is how Monday.com ties the two dates together and responds to changes in the dates in the timeline. By default, Monday.com sets it for finish to start. This means that the dates will shift in the child item if the end date of the parent item passes its start date. For start to start, this means that the child's timeline start date will move when the parent does. This is the same for finish to finish, except it applies to the timeline's end date. Start to finish will move the finish date of the child item when the start date of the parent does, though this one has limited use. We also wouldn't recommend setting an item to have more than one dependency, as this can potentially cause items to move more than required. With that set, you will now see the child item move with its dependent parent. Set this for each item in your flow and you're good to go. It might seem complicated at first, but trust us, dependencies are a powerful tool that can help to bring your task management under control. We hope that this helps explain dependencies and dependency options in Monday.com. But if you'd like some more help setting up your Monday.com dependencies, get in touch with us and we'll see what we can do either by the comments or using the link in the description. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.